School safety is now on the front burner for a lot of parents of those attending, those students attending school in the Spring Independent School District, especially at Spring High School, where a stabbing on campus left one student dead. So when you think in terms of security, what are they going to be doing? We brought in a security expert who has gone through something similar to this, trying to help others protect themselves. And he brought something that he's going to demonstrate as well. Michael Shetland, when you think in terms of metal detectors, hand wands, those are the things that are, we're, we're being told are used this morning. We're not allowed on campus. Are they viable deterrents to violence on campus? They could probably help just like at the airport as far as keeping kids out of the school that might have a gun or a knife or, or something like that. The bigger threat that we've seen like in places like Sandy Hook is the shooter coming from the outside getting into the school and there's just no, today there's no barrier to keep them out. If they shoot a window out, they're in in one second and there's no time to react. You're thinking in terms of time, but giving individuals on campus, if an incident happens with a gun, time to react. Exactly. In fact, uh, that's why the solution really for a lot of these schools, and we've been getting lots of calls from around the country since Sandy Hook, you know, looking for a security option. And so what I propose is using the same film that was used in Washington after 9-11 on all the federal buildings, including the Pentagon. Uh, we initially used it for hurricane protection here in Houston, but it turns out burglars and school shootings would also come into play. Can you have it here with you? At least you have yeah, a demonstration here. Yeah, this is a standard here. cheap window from Home Depot, and I put the film on it. And so, don't try this at home. But I'm gonna try to get in. Okay, it's cracked. A bullet would have just made a hole and cracked the glass, but you still can't make it through. Exactly. What what the, it's not going to stop the bullet, but what it would do is delay the shooter from getting in. So they would take a lot of time trying to shoot a silhouette, basically, to get in. That's buying time for the police to show up, for them to lock down the kids in the back. That's time that those kids at Sandy Hook never had. When you're thinking in terms of something like this. Have local schools approached you regarding the use of this film? Yeah, uh, we've actually put it on some schools in the Houston area already. Most of them are private schools and very concerned after Sandy Hook. A lot of the schools really don't know about the technology yet. So it's a matter of educating them that this is a way not only to secure their premises from shooters, but to cut their energy bill, pay for itself over time, give them hurricane protection 24-7. They don't have anything like that right now. And today we're thinking in terms of security, and it seems like it could be one of those things that, that could help. Security expert Michael Shetland showing us something that could help with security on school campuses, and that's one of the things that people are thinking about because of the incident last Wednesday on the campus of Spring High School. Back to you in the studio.